Welcome on back, Faithful. Today's video is going to be all about strapping and padding your armor. Now, if you've been following along with my tutorials, you should have your full suit of Halo 4 Mark VI armor already built, and now it's time to test fit all your pieces and make sure that they fit properly to your body and they sit well. Now, um, just a thing to note, for all my pieces that have to do with the upper body, including the cod piece and butt piece, they're all built with the sizing in mind that I'd be wearing a, a suit of uh, motocross armor. So you have to bear that in mind when you're going to be doing your own sizing. If you're not going to be wearing a suit of armor, then you may need to use padding where I haven't used padding. Um, and for those specific pieces that I'm talking about, I'll, uh, I'll point those out when I get to them. But what we're going to do is we're just going to work our way from the head down, and uh, we're going to cover each piece the way I've gone ahead and padded these. So for the helmet, I kind of showed you a little bit last time when we were finishing up the helmet build. Um, we got the visor installed, everything's all built, painted, and whatnot. On the inside here, you're going to see I've used what, this green one-inch foam. Now, you can get that foam at uh, Joann Fabrics. You can get that at most hobby stores or most fabric stores. It's uh, typically like an upholstery foam you might use for making cushions um, or just padding pieces of, um, of textiles that you're looking to sew, sew together. Whereas here, I've used it to pad my suit of armor. So if you can see here, I've got padding all the way around the back of it, and I've got it, um, I guess, up on the, your, where your temples are, and then on the very forehead there. And that's all designed so that this sits nice and snugly on your head. You don't need a whole lot of foam, just enough so that it holds tightly to your head um, without being uncomfortable. You really don't want your ears to be covered up here, so it's why I focus on having kind of the, the crown of your head and then your temple area, and then right there on the very front part of your forehead. So I'll put this on here so you can kind of see how it sits on me. And so this is before I squish it in, right there, I've made contact with the foam. So it doesn't bobble, it doesn't shake, I can stand upside down, it's not going to fall off. So that's how you're going to go ahead and pad your helmet here. And I just put those pieces of foam inside there with a little bit of hot glue. Um, and then if I can, I try and get around the outside edge of the foam where it's making contact with hot glue as well. But um, even if you just kind of zigzag it along, it should be just fine there. Okay. Next piece we're going to go ahead and cover here, since it's right here next to me, is going to be uh, your hand, hand plates here. These here, once they're done, they have a slight curve to them, which should follow along the back of your hand here. And those I just attached right to the glove. Again, that's just done with hot glue. Um, I like using hot glue for the back of the gloves here because it gets into the weave of the mesh on the gloves themselves and it kind of locks itself in there. Um, it is better to use hot glue for the gloves because um, over using the, um, the Loctite 5 second super glue because Loctite can kind of harden up places and make them kind of sharp and kind of it can, it can crack and crunch when you go to bend your hand whereas the hot glue is not going to do that. Um, well, I'll grab my next piece here I guess I'll say if you're looking to build your own suit of armor check the description below this video you'll find links to all my armor files you'll find links to Pepper Core Viewer and uh, Designer and you'll find all the tools necessary that you're going to need to be able to start your own suit of Halo armor. Okay, now we're getting on to the forearm piece here. The forearm piece here is a really specific one here because of how wide it is up top. You need to have foam in the right places. Um, now again, I've said this one is built in mind with uh, the idea behind it that you'd be wearing a suit of motocross armor, so I've made it large enough to fit the padding that's on that suit of motocross armor. So that in mind here, I've got padding, right, I guess this would be the, the outside part of your arm here. I've got a little U-shaped piece here, I've got a small piece right on the inside there, and then at the very front here, just a very small piece of foam right there on the very front piece there. And that's made, so when you put your hand inside here, you get your hand through first, turn it to place, and then with the additional padding that I've got on that suit of armor, that snugs this whole thing up here. Um, forearms are big, you want to make sure that you have the padding up here around the bulk of your forearm, otherwise your forearm will continue to turn on you and you'll be having to constantly turn it back and fix it. Um, just from like shaking somebody's hand, it'll start to rotate on you just because center of mass is coming back from here and it's most bulky here. It can sometimes even roll this way, it just depends. Um, the first time I wore these out to a convention, I didn't have enough foam up top there. And the whole time I was just having to reseat them back where they were supposed to go. So make sure that you snug it up there. Again, you don't want to cut off any kind of circulation to your arm or your other extremities, but just make sure it's snug enough to where 
It's comfortable and it holds in place. Okay. Um, let's see, next one here. We're going to cover, okay, this is a really specific piece as well. These here are our biceps and shoulder pieces here. Um, again, this one's built with the idea that I'm wearing motocross armor. So you may need to, I haven't done any padding on these at all. You may need to do a little bit of padding. I would do it on the outside here, not on the inside, because if you do it on the inside, it's a little bit hard to put your arms down. So do it on the outside. That way it pulls nice flush up against your arm here and pulls to the outside, giving you the best range of motion. So if you are going to pad this, I would just do one small piece of foam right on the inside there. I wouldn't really do any front or back, just on the outside there. And you only need about an inch thickness. Should be enough cushion to crush down inside there and seat it pretty well. So if you're noticing here, I have a strap between my uh, bicep pieces here. Now the way these go on is much like a backpack. Uh, I'm sure you've probably seen Adam Grumbo's build that he's done where the pieces that he's using for his, uh, for his arms, it's just connected by one long piece of elastic. This one here though, I put a buckle on there because it makes it way easier to take off. And you're probably gonna have to have a friend, unless you're able to get your torso piece off and reach over and undo it yourself, you're probably gonna have to have a friend help you um, get in and out of your suit of armor. But the buckle here makes it so much easier to take off these bicep pieces. What you're gonna do though is um, you'll attach it on the inside here. You can see where I've done it there. Just on, that's on the inside outer edge of where your bicep piece is there. Um, and the length of elastic that's used is enough so that when you put your arms through it, it's pulling up under your armpits snugly, but not so tight that it's gonna compromise your build by pulling away from the foam or gonna cut off the circulation under your arms. You want it just tight enough to where it keeps them set where they need to be. So I'll show you how to put these on. Really simple, you just pull one, one on, and because of the elastic, you got some give. Put the other one on, pull the strap over, and then you put your torso armor on once you've got your bicep pieces, pieces set. So you see that right there? That holds them right where they need to be. I've got enough flex to where it's not gonna pull away from the, uh, the inside of the foam there. It's not gonna rip away from that. It's also not cutting off my circulation. So I can, I can all day with these. And like I said, if you do put some foam on the inside here, do it on that outside edge. That way um, you've got most range of motion because these pieces will be pressed on the inside there. Okay, now, say you don't like them quite this high up, you can, you can do more elastic so they sit a little bit lower. Um, fortunately enough for me, with the suit of armor that I wear, I've got a little block that's right down here on the far edge, so it keeps these biceps seated right about there, and it's a perfect spot for me. So, bear that in mind, again, if you got to undo it, just reach back, find the clip, if I can get it, unbuckle it. Comes off real, real super easy, um, and the length of elastic you're going to need to use is going to vary person to person. It's just just depends on how broad you are. So you're probably gonna have to have a person um, help you out with that, or else what I've done is I'll take the elastic strap, I'll hold it on one arm, then I'll reach over, pull it to the other side, and I'll pull it to where I feel it's comfortable. Um, and then from there, I'll kinda just hold that spot there, and I'll always give myself a little bit extra, because you can always take away, but you can't add to it. So give yourself a little bit extra to play with first, attach it to one side, um, then go to the other side, See if it's going to sit right, and then you've got plenty of room in the middle where you can cut, add your buckles, fold them over, and you can make yourself uh, an attachment inside the center there. So just one to bear in mind. What's next? Okay, we'll go over the uh, torso real quick. Now I do have a specific video um, detailing this build here, the locking system up top and on the side of your torso armor piece here. I've given enough room um, on top and on the sides here to accommodate wearing a suit of motocross armor. If you're not going to wear the suit of motocross armor underneath it, then you can shrink up the distance here and you can make this a little bit tighter. You want this to sit pretty snugly on you because you won't need any kind of foam inside there at all for this to sit. The way it's designed is it rests right there on your shoulder and this hugs into your chest there. So this, uh, this should fit you just fine as is, but I'll show you right here. Yeah, just push button, clips here, and a little backpack clips on the sides, and this whole piece comes off. So we're going to pull it off, off, just like that. You've got your back shell, and you've got your front shell. So they're both just individual pieces. You're going to have to have somebody help you put this on. 
Just so you know, this is one that I even I can't get these on by myself. Unless I'm working some powerful wizard, wizardry. So get that set there. Yes, this is the torso. Front there, back here, and upper. All right. Next up, let's go ahead and do the the butt plate and cod piece. Now, a lot of you have asked me if I would be doing a tutorial on this, so hopefully this will shed some light on what I've done. Now, with these builds, initially, the butt plate is just that, just the butt plate. I added these sides onto it. Same thing with the cod piece here. It's just the cod piece. I added these little side fins to it. Now, it's kind of very similar to um, to the torso piece here, where it's a two-piece unit that comes together. What I did was I just took two small lengths of the EVA foam, attached them, one to each side, and then I took another buckle piece here. You can see I've kind of set it um, about a half inch in, just to, so just only the, I guess the, uh, the clipping part of the buckle is exposed on both sides. You can see it's done there. And then those clip into the back rig here. Now, if you look at the, these pieces here, um, on the, the Spartan under suits of armor inside the game, uh, Halo 4 and Halo 5, they have these, these little hip um, extrusions, which look very similar to this here. And those are actually just larger scale versions of the sides of the calves here. So whatever that size is there, I think I just doubled the size of it. You can see it right there. And that became my hip piece here. Now it's also, it's, it's got a two function purpose. Number one is where it sits on my hip, but number two, it hides an internal buckle here. Now that's just held in with a very small length of elastic. Not a whole lot, but just enough to have a tiny enough bit of uh, flex. When I put this on, I can sit it where it's gonna fit me properly. Now this one is, um, again, it's gonna be going around a suit of motocross armor. So it's much wider than my, than my uh, front is here, and my waist is, but it's designed to fit around an extra chunk of, uh, I guess, padding. So I'll show you how this goes on here. I'll show you, let's show you. Get a look at this real quick here. Again, just two lengths of EVA foam, one on either side, like that. I built that little hip piece in here. You can see what I've done on the inside right there. Just two buckles right here and right there. And this goes on just like a belt would. Now, one thing to point out with uh, the Halo 4 build, the torso, if you're going to do it to absolute spec, the torso is actually going to sit, um, the copies will sit up here just under the torso but you can't really sit down too well inside that and it's uncomfortable to walk in unless you're really kind of holding your chest high so it's not making contact with your waist. So I've seated mine lower, so just bear that in mind. I, instead of having it up here and having the copies come down even further, I've seated mine a little bit lower and made the copies just slightly smaller. So what I do is I clip one side first, like this, and the EVA foam has enough flex to it, we just pull it around, find your inside clip, lock it in. There you go. And so like I said, it's got just enough flex to the outside here. Those hide under those hip pieces really well. There's enough elastic on the inside there to where you can move, and I can sit down real easy, real, excuse me, real easily inside this here. This, it's not a big deal at all. That's a huge issue I had with my, um, my fiberglass suit of armor. I could not hardly sit down at all, and it drove me nuts. So do yourself a favor, make it out of EVA foam number one, but make sure you're seating it properly. Use elastic. So that is that piece there. Okay, um, next one we'll go ahead and cover, um, actually, yeah, we'll do the thigh piece now. A lot of you have asked, how do you do the thighs? Okay, the best way I can say to do the thigh pieces here is number one, you're gonna make yourself a little belt and I've made my belt just out of a length of uh, nylon strapping here. Just, again, we've got a, um, a backpack clip right there. That's all it is. Get enough of a length to where you can tighten it up if you need to, make it looser or tighter. So what, what that's gonna be used for, you, you're gonna set that right on, your, right on those hip bones, just above those hip bones there. You're gonna take another length of nylon and you're going to attach it on the inside upper portion of the thigh. Now this is the front here, this is the front left. So I've got it, here's, here's, I guess, where we dead on on you, just barely off, off center. That's where that clip is going to be, just right off center there. 
And you're going to have to figure out what length you're going to be using. You're going to have to figure out how much you're going to actually need. So you're going to have to put the belt on first. Put the length of nylon, attach it to your, to your hip there. Then loop it over the belt itself. And you're just going to have to kind of um, just slide and adjust it to where those, hip, those uh, leg pieces are sitting comfortably on you. You want them up pretty high because you want to be able to bend your knee properly. You don't want them obviously crowding your crotch but you want them up high enough to where your leg has full range of motion and you can actually bend it properly. Also allows for you to be able to sit down when you seat these properly as well. So I'll show you how this goes here. The easiest way to do this is to get the belt through um, one side first. So we'll put it through the left one. Now I would have my, I would have my right leg, I'd already be standing on my right leg. So take the left leg, put my leg through it. Pull it up to where it needs to be. Pull up the right leg. Um, now I have put a little bit of foam on the inside here, but it's on the outside section of the leg here. So it's pressing the inside nice and flush in against my thigh so I can walk without rubbing them together. So I'll show you that in a second. But so I would have pulled my right thigh up now, put the belt through the loops as well. And then you turn and we're going to buckle this. Again, just right on your hips. So you see right there, then you can take the strap here and you can move it to where it sits better on you, more comfortably. And that right there will keep your leg right where it needs to be. You have no issue with it whatsoever. You can, if you want to, use elastic here over a nylon strap. I find the nylon strap seems to work the best, especially once you get it seated. You don't have to worry about it flexing down too far and sliding down behind your knee and um, impeding the way you walk. So there is the, uh, the thigh, that's how you'll keep your thigh pieces up. I'll show you here on the inside just a little bit of foam that I use. I use about a four or five inch wide section of foam right here. Just one piece and that's on the outside part of your thigh. You don't want it on the inside there because your thighs will smack together when they walk and you don't want that. So put it on the outside there. You really only need one piece of it because this upper section here will hug pretty tightly to your hip if you've sized your armor properly. Now, um, that should be pretty much universal for anybody, so long as the, uh, the thigh piece actually fits your legs. Because I don't wear any kind of armor on my lower half, only on my upper half, because my legs are pretty beefy already. So, you, that sh like I said, that should be pretty universal. Okay, now for the calf piece here, um, we've attached our, our knee to the front there. I kind of cocked it out a little bit at about mm, like a 32 degree angle there. That way it allows for my knee to bend and I can straighten my leg out without it making contact with my thigh and breaking this piece off here. So I've done that there. On the inside of the calf pieces here, the most important thing to note with this is you just want to snug up on the, I guess, the thickest part of your calf muscle, the meatiest part of it, but you really only want to hold the sides of it. Uh, the way the Mark VI Halo 4 suit of armor is designed is it's got a lot of little ridgy pieces on the front and the back, so those will snug up nice and tight on the back of your calf and on your shin, the sides, though, have quite a bit of room. So I'll show you here, just on the insides of these little uh, rounded pieces, this little domey section here, we've got two very small pieces of foam. Again, that's that one inch foam that you can get at Joann Fabrics or at um, Hobby Lobby. It's around the inside there as well. And um, that will pretty much hold it right where you need it to be. Because you're gonna keep in mind that these calves, when you have them on, they'll snug up around your calves so they won't turn. But they'll also sit just on top of the very, just very lightly on top of where your shoe goes. So it'll have enough support from that, plus the foam on the sides here to hold it in place. And then last, we're going to go ahead and do the shoes here. Now after you've built your shoe pieces together, obviously you need to build them to either a boot or a sneaker. So what I did was I went and got myself um, a nice comfy high top basketball shoe. You're going to want to, I recommend get yourself a small shoehorn to slip your foot into, that way you don't end up gnarling up the back part of your foam here. But I just attached it um, right in about halfway up the sole here. So if the sole's that thick, split that difference, put it about halfway. You do not want these pieces flush to the ground because when you walk, they will your sneaker will push down. That foam will slide past and you're going to snap your foam, clear off your shoe. It's, it almost looks like this. Like say here's the foam, here's your sneaker, you'll press down, your shoe will stay, you'll go to lift and that foam will just rip. So go up a little bit higher so that you can actually bend your foot 
without too much hassle. Now, when you do walk in your suit of oh, random popcorn here, when you walk in your suit of armor, you're gonna want to kind of pick your legs up a little bit because the suit is awkward enough as it is to try and walk. Um, do yourself a favor, pick your legs up when you walk a little bit. That way, you don't run the risk of uh, breaking any part of your shoes off here. Now, if you attach them properly, you shouldn't have to worry about it, but just play on the air on the side of caution, I guess. But uh, anyway, the back, you can see I've attached the back there, just on the back half of the shoe there. Front, on the front half here. No connection in the middle there. You can see they're, they're free floating from each other there. Top piece just connects into here. You can, if you want, put a little foam piece in the center there. I didn't even bother with it because I bought an all-black shoe. But that right there will be enough for your foot um, that when you have this shoe on, you shouldn't have to worry about any issues whatsoever. You really shouldn't. Um, the biggest issue that I had was just the connection points right here coming loose. A little bit of contact cement or five second super glue takes care of that right away. Um, and when you do attach the back here, uh, I guess I should point this out as well. You're only going to attach the shoe pieces just to the sole of the shoe. You're not going to glue any inside piece here. You're not going to glue any inside here. You're not gluing anything around where your ankle's going to be. Literally, it's only the bottom sole part of the shoe, okay? Leave the rest of that alone. That way your foot can actually move inside there without impeding the way you walk and potentially damaging your suit of armor. So, again, bear all that in mind there when you do. Watch this video again if you need to see any other little tips that maybe you've forgotten. Um, the biggest thing I can tell you guys is go for comfort. Style's awesome. You are, Obviously, you want to look good, so seat things where they feel comfortable on you, and the style will follow. But uh, make sure that you're able to sit down, because standing inside the suit of armor, you'd be surprised, even standing in um, a, uh, a suit of foam armor, it does wear you out after a while, and you're going to want to sit down. Just because the posture that you have to have when you're walking around, you're very erect when you're walking with a suit of Spartan armor on, your, your back is very straight, and that can kind of wear on, wear on you after a while. So make sure you can sit down comfortably, or if you can't sit down comfortably, do a buckle rig like I've done here that you can take off real easily and put back on real easily. So anyway guys, again, my name is Eric Rolon, aka Angel Legend, and uh, if you check out the info description below this video, you're going to find, again, links to all the files I used for this, uh, for this particular build. You're going to find a link to Pretzel's Locker, where you can find tons and tons and tons of Halo files. Um, also, if you look up on Facebook.com, uh, check out the, uh, the Facebook group Halo Props. There's a ton of great information there. There's a lot of awesome foam smiths there, as well as people that work strictly with Pepecora. There's a lot of great info there for you guys, and people are super willing to help you out. So if, uh, if these videos aren't doing it for you, check there as well. Um, also, you'll find the Dropbox link to the specific files that I used. You'll find my sizing that I used for my own suit of armor down below. Now, I'm 6 foot 3 inches and roughly 200, 202 pounds. So if you fit my kind of body, my body structure, those sizes should work for, uh, for you. If you're shorter or if you're wider or if you're taller, you're going to have to adjust those files accordingly. Um, Let's see what else. Oh, there's also links to the Facebook fan page as well as my own uh, actor fan page and my personal website. So thank you all so much for checking out this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was informative, informative, informative to you guys. Um, and I hope Spartans that uh, if you're building your own suit of armor that this has uh, helped you along. I'd love to see your photos. If you wouldn't mind posting them on the, uh, the fan page, that'd be awesome. Um, if not, don't worry about it. But if you would. Please smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, and we'll see you next time. Adios.